What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be talking about 20 things that should be done immediately about Madden 20, right? We're going to be going and basically taking most of the things that were going on in Madden 19 that are just absolutely unacceptable and just saying, EA, maybe you should probably fix this. We're going to start with the whole fact that number one, right? I spoke about this before, and a lot of you guys agree with me about Secure Tackler. I think as a red chem, that should be removed. And why should it be removed? Because nobody should be able to make a tackle 100% of the time. I don't care how great a player is, you can miss a tackle from time to time. It should go based on the greatness of the players that are having the interaction. So if the player wants to have a high tackling trait, that player has to be able to counteract a, a running back, a wide receiver, you know, that has decent trucking elusiveness. It has to be a counteraction thing. It can't just be a chem because with the chem, it's like, all right, you touch my butt cheeks. All right, look, I'm falling down. And that's pretty much it. That has to go immediately. That has no business being in the game. All right. Number two, they got to fix man to man. They got to fix man to man. And look, this is the thing, right? Even if they release the game and it's decent, I have a feeling that we're going to go through the same cycle. I would love to see how they can fix that because they did show that they can leave certain cards alone. And namely, the way that they did Ricky Williams throughout the year, which we'll get to in a second, Ricky Williams was able to maintain his glitchiness throughout the entirety of the year as opposed to what happened in Madden 18 when LaDainian Tomlinson was just a trash can as a level master. So they can patch the game without destroying other aspects. So I would like them to fix man-to-man, -man, have it just realistic. If a guy breaks off of it, like if you press him and he breaks off the press and he has a 5-10 yard head start, that player should not be able to get a speed burst and intercept the ball. Thank you so much, EA, for that. Zone should not come down on crossers. Zone should stay where they're supposed to stay. If you click the right analog, then, okay, that player should come down the way that it should be. But the player should not just get a mind of its own and say, you know what? I don't really care about nothing, N-U-F-F-I-N, and I'm going to come down and just don't care and don't play my, you know, don't play my area, my zone, and my place where I'm supposed to be. Why would EA Sports ever allow that? I have no idea. Maybe you guys have more insight into that. Number four, nano detection should be removed, picked up, thrown in the garbage, and then after that, put into a new, you know, like a waste site and burnt to the crisp. And the person that came up with nano detection needs to be reprimanded, like, yo, bro, come into the office right quick. Don't you ever bring up any other ideas, dog. You are your probation. Like, that guy has to go on probation. Like, listen, bro, let me tell you something. You came up with nano detection? Bro, nano detection? Like, you got to look at, bro, turn your head to the side and everything. Like, nano detection? Like, you came up with that? All right, bro, probation. No more ideas from this guy. That should not be in the game. Number five, Ricky Williams probably shouldn't be, or whoever the level master is going to be, they probably shouldn't be the best running back in the game. For the entirety of the year. You know what I'm saying? Because what happens is this is what this is the situation, right? I agree that you should have a decent card, but he shouldn't be so glitchy to where everybody's just comfortable just having them. You know what I'm saying? Like it should be a variety of cards. Everybody shouldn't want to have Ricky Williams. You should give whoever the level master is gonna be, you know, decent traits or whatever like that. But I think we need a little bit more uh diversity, like you know, just not make him that good so that everybody wants him and that only certain people would want to use him and other people will go outside of it to get other players that are decent. I like the fact that, you know, they made him glitchy, but it's just the fact that he's free and he's so good that you could just, you know, you, you got to deal with him, bro. You got to deal with 19 broken tackles from Ricky Williams every game. And yeah, I'm one of those guys that do it. And, and it turns me on too. Probably most of you guys that are watching the video is turning you on like, yo, bro, I just broke a 90 yard run. But they don't have to make him be the best running back in the game. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Give us a variety so other people have to choose. All right, maybe we go with this guy, this guy, whatever. Because also, he's free. So it's just, it's just weird that everybody just gets him and you got to deal with it. Sort of like the Mutt Master, right? The Mutt Master is free, but you got to grind for it. Ricky Williams is just upgrading your Mutt level. You just got, like, the glitchiest running back in the game. It just seems like it's just too easy to get him. Maybe make it harder or something. You know, give more things to do to get it. Uh, number six. Make people block in the game. So if I get a guy like Larry Allen, you know, maybe Willie Rose Beef, um, I want these guys to be able to, to block the people that are in front of them. If he has a 99 strength, I don't expect somebody with a 40 strength 
at like, you know, Shaquem Griffin or whatever at the beginning of the year that really didn't have any kind of stat to just run right by him and do whatever he wants. I need this guy to actually hold blocks. And for the most part, none of our players really block. It is what it is. I'm just saying, I would like that to happen. I'm not saying it has to happen. I'm just asking very nicely, please, EA, make my offensive line block people that are in front of them. Number seven, make speed matter. Can we stop having Randy Moss get chased down by dead bumblebees? Can we just, can we please just stop that? Can we stop having the fact that the dude has a five to 10 yard head start? And uh, yo, like anybody, it doesn't, name, name, a, name a corner. That guy is on him. Like he's ready to go. Like stop. It has to stop. All this warp animation, the sliding into it, the speed burst on the defensive side of the ball, please just stop it. Please, please stop. Like, I don't know what else I have to say, what else I have to do. What do we have to do to make EA please stop it? Just don't do it. Stop it. Stop it. Like, bruh, you know what I'm saying? You see like a two-year-old? Stop it. Stop it, EA developers. Like, why are you letting these guys get a speed burst and just be right next to Randy Moss? Everything is just unnatural. It doesn't make any sense. It needs to stop. Blue chems, please, if you're going to have people chem people up, make it so that it really matters. I will tell you this over and over again. Gronkowski is not a 95 speed, and he's not a 95 excel. I don't care what these stats show. He is not that. Okay, EA? Please, if you're going to have it in the game, make it matter. This man is not running at that speed. I'm sorry. The dude got caught by an invisible person and just fell on the ground the last game I played. Like, anybody's tackling this idiot. I need it to stop, and I need it to stop right now. Please, if you're going to put the blue chems in the game, make sure they're consistent. Cloud flats on wheel routes or cloud flats on streaks. Why is it that my players are wiggling around and they never want to get by the corner? Why is it that they can't run by? Okay, you have five yards to bump a receiver in the NFL. After that, there should be no wiggling action. Please remove that from the game. Effective immediately. Number 10, soft squats should not turn to man if you shade outside. If you want your soft squats to play like cloud flats and play outside, they should stay on their respective sides of the field. Please let that happen. Number 11, please don't make it where sending three is better than sending six. If I send six, I need to get that in there, dog. I need to be in there like swimwear, dog. Bro, mm, 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 mm. like, bro, I'm about to just bust out of disco dance. Not like, I just start thinking about some Drake songs. But listen, that's neither here or there. The bottom line is I'm sick and tired of dudes running around sending three and spying someone and getting immediate pressure. But then when they send six, nobody comes in. I, it, I like it, but it happens to me also on the defensive side of the ball. Please fix that. Don't patch anything in the game. Uh, like, listen, if you're going to, if contains, contains should work the way that it was working earlier in the game. So if you put contains out the same way that it is, however you put it out with contains, leave it. Okay. I liked it the way that it was early in the year. If you want to leave the contains the way they are now, where they play stupid, that's fine. But have some consistency. Don't change the way that we're accustomed to having things play. Just change it because you think that, you know, somebody doesn't know how to deal with it or you're getting too many complaints on Twitter or Reddit. Leave it alone. It's fine. Let them, let, let, bro, people have to find ways to, you know, counteract it because it wasn't that OP to the fact that it had to be changed. That didn't need to happen. 335 odd was a problem because everybody was running it. But the bottom line is you could have left the contains the same and just made the O-line recognize that everybody was sending Lawrence Taylor, Lawrence Taylor on the loop. That's all you had to do was increase their awareness and make them see that this idiot is coming in the middle every play. That's all they had to do, in my opinion. Please don't make it where Deion Sanders is getting chased down by Mean Joe Green, all right? Corners should not be chased down by D-tackles, all right? Uh, well, well, listen, well, not D-tackles, but I meant to say like offensive linemen, all right? This is the situation. It doesn't make any sense. All I'm going to tell you is this, right? If a fat lineman can chase down Deion Sanders with these numbers, I don't want that. I, I really just don't want that happening. And many times I pick the ball off and everything slows down and the fattest D tackle in the game is chasing down Deion Sanders. Well, not the D tackle, but the offensive tackle. He's just chasing him down. Now, maybe to do with the 80 speed from the, uh, from the Eagles, you know, Lane or something like that, Lane Johnson, possibly because he's so fast, but I'm talking about the fattest, bro, the meanest, like the slowest idiots is chasing down Deion Sanders. Please fix that. Number 14, 
Can you please make throw power matter again? If you tell me that my guy has 99 throw power, I want to be able to throw the ball like, you know, with a 99 throw power. I don't understand why Cam Newton can't throw the ball anywhere. Or maybe it's because of the mechanic where your man-to-man -man coverage is just wildly OP and the ball just can't get out in front. But if these guys have that throw power, let them throw the ball. Number 15, once you release Michael Vick, because we know Michael Vick will be in Madden 20, he should be able to fumble. That dude gets sacked so many times and the ball just comes out and it's never a fumble. Please fix that, EA. Number 16, stop letting the ball go through their body. My body is real. I think my player's body is real. They have an archetype. Like, unless you're going to turn it into Mortal Kombat 11 and make it be like a, you know, a fatality, stop making the ball go through my body. Number 17, I don't want to get mossed by John Ross, all right? If, if a guy can go up and get the ball, if my corner is ready to roll, Bro, my corner should be, able to, should be ready to roll regardless. I don't want to get mossed by four foot three receivers anymore. I got mossed by Steve Smith the other day. I was disgusted. All right? Number 18, please make it so people have to make a logical read. Why is it that in Madden 19, you're able to throw the ball in the quintuplet coverage, and that's the perfect read, but if a guy is wide open, he drops the ball? It doesn't make any sense. Number 19, please make catching stats matter. Why is it that Jerry Rice has 99 everything, but Jerry Rice can't catch the ball? Why is that a thing? I don't understand what's going on. It's just really stupid. Maybe you can probably look into that and figure out what's going on with that, and let's see what's actually happening with that. Number 20, do not listen to randoms on social media. I'm going to repeat that. That is the biggest problem, and I believe that that has destroyed our gameplay experience because the Madden team looks at just random people writing stuff and just saying, oh, we got to fix that. No. If the game plays a certain way and that's the way the game is supposed to play, then the players should be able to adjust. Try to put something else out that will encourage those players to get better at the game rather than patch it and destroy the experience for every single person. Because in previous years prior to 16, well, 15 was kind of wild because of the play action reach around, but like 25 and before, the game wasn't getting patched like that and people had to find ways to get better. Now, with those gameplay, th that type of gameplay and the same way that the Mutt content has been really, really good, I do believe that your sales will remain the same regardless because Mutt is going to sell because in those days of the 25 and prior, attributes actually mattered, similar to the way MLB is right now. When attributes really matter, it's more likely that people will spend money to get those cards. When you listen to every single person on social media and you patch everything, when you know that once you do one patch, you ruin something else in the game, you create something that you don't want in Madden. You create a lot of people just being annoyed with the entire development team and not being happy at all. Sometimes a simple fix is to leave it alone and let people understand that there are other ways to beat whatever's going on or enhance the awareness of the players. Like I said, if you wanted to stop odd, it would have made more sense if you made the sliders so that the awareness of the linemen could pick up. Maybe the ID, the mic, a feature that you guys added because in 17, Nickel Blitz was so OP, that's why it was added. This is the situation now. When you look at awareness, if Bruce Matthews has a 99 awareness, you have to make that be a real 99 awareness. That way you don't got to patch contains and destroy the rest of the game with the way that it plays and now Block Sheds is not OP and Big Nickel over G is having people have massive nightmares at night. Very, very simple fixes. Let me know what you're thinking about my projected thoughts about Madden 20 and be, you know, feel free to list what you think should be added going forward as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, one love.